<laughs> okay, so we're back uh, with the uh, monthly rundown. Uh, again, for those of you who are new, uh, this is one of the smallest uh, educational accounts that we show, so you can uh, get a better understanding on how to make money with uh, more occurrences and uh, put less less of your money at risk um, per each trade or occurrence. So let's go down through this. Okay, so we have a, uh, let me get my drawing pen out here. We have a uh, starting value here of 28,437. Uh, that was on September 1st, right? And then on the, well, actually it was August 31st, September 1st, same thing. Then you have a ending value of 28,800. Uh, 28, so the difference of uh, 363.51. Now this includes both dividends, um, trades, trade profits, and the actual growth of all the other stocks. So this is 1.28 percent growth, right? But it's not the whole story. So let's let's run down through it. Um, what we're looking for is our dividends, right? So we come across here and we see we have 126.64. I'll get our calculator right here. Uh, where's it at? There we go. We got our cal calculator. Um, so we got 126.64. That's for our dividends for the month. Right. And now we want to look, come down through, we'll go to realized and unrealized performance. Uh, realized is what we actually took out of the market. Unrealized, we haven't done anything yet, it's still floating. So we can see here, 129.99. So we'll add that, 129.99. Let's write that down, 256.63. Let's get that off of there. Get 256.63. Okay. So that's a difference in almost about $110. So let's see what percentage of the account this actually, or how much we actually made percentage-wise for the month. So all we got to do is take that 256.63 and divide it by the starting amount. 437.28. So we see a 0.009. Now, to convert it to percentage, all we do is multiply it by 100, and we come up with 0.90%. Now, that's about, well, it's exactly 0.1% uh, lower than our target. Right? So, we missed our target. That's that's what we're looking to hit each month, right? And that's equivalent. If you take that, multiply that by 12, that's equivalent to 10.8 percent per year. Right? And if you have the same similar performance, the dollar value there. So of course we missed it. But are we worried about it? No, because we're still still bringing money out of the market. Now, if we look overall, that 0.9% is lower than the 1.28. Well, that's the difference between these two is your unrealized gain. You didn't you you didn't cash that out, so you can't include it in in your profit for the month. So if we look at <clears throat> A combination of all of them, you can see that for the month of September, we ended up with 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.733, or say 0 0.74 uh, percent, which is approximately <clears throat> uh, eight years to double your money. So if we go back over here, if we were to take that. 10.8%, we take the rule of 72, divide 10.8, <coughs> take us 6.6 .6 years to double our money. That's just by sticking to the rules, 
stay in small and have numbers of occurrences. So the power in small numbers is definitely beneficial. But you know, you can always go out and spend that two dollars and buy you a lottery ticket, right? And you got a one in what 175 million chance of being right. Um, not very good odds. This we have no losses, right? No un we haven't taken any losses, meaning no stock has been sold at a loss. So you can look at it and see, you know, these are wash sales. When you see these negative numbers here, this is where you've had uh, DCAing occurring. So it says short-term loss, short-term profit. These are wash. But overall, the, the account is up $129.99 on trades. So it's like $4.84. Just the way it works out if it's been long-term. Short-term short is under a year. Um, so somebody questioned me on that, and I said, no, I mean, we're still positive. You know, we st still hadn't taken a loss, loss. You know, when we see a negative, so we have dividends of 126.64. And it's pretty even with what we've taken in profit. But they, ideally, if, it's, if you looked at the overall account, it might show 5.4% uh, in dividends for the year on average. I'm just guessing. I don't have it in front of me. But <coughs> that's one thing you need to pay attention to. So keep concentrating, you know, on building this up. And for you for those of you that have accounts under twenty five thousand, remember the uh, day trading rules. Um, you know, you with this with this type of strategy with these types of strategies you shouldn't run into that problem unless we get some super high volatility, but you just want to be aware of that. But other than that, that's really all there is to it. Uh, stick with the rules and think long term. Don't worry about you know market fluctuations. The, we've been doing this the same way for years. But that's it for today.